that he had homosexual experiences as a young man. The revelation coincides with intense speculation that he is about to stand in the Kensington and Chelsea by-election and is being seen as an attempt by the former Defence Secretary to remove any skeletons from his cupboard. I was asked um, about rumours that had circulated about me, which I must say um, made me pretty fed up over a number of years. Uh, when I was in public office, there wasn't really a good occasion to deal with those. Um, but I am happy to deal with them. They are perfectly untrue. Uh, have I ever had any experiences of that sort? Yes, I did a generation ago. The UN's 48-hour ultimatum to Indonesia has expired, but there is no word on what it'll do. Uh, Britain might send troops as part of a peacekeeping force for East Timor. However, the UN has decided against leaving the Timorese capital Dili for fear that refugees in its compound would simply be massacred. The second explosion in Moscow within a week has left at least 13 people dead and dozens injured. A nine-story building was shattered by a midnight blast, burying over 100. It's thought to have been caused by gas. However, city officials haven't ruled out the possibility of a bomb. Here's the sport. Britain needs to go back to the drawing board after more failure in Euro 2000. English survival now depends on Sweden. Scotland can hold themselves despite a poor match against Estonia. Northern Ireland were out of it anyway, but the Republic came up trumps again. Ian Ramage has the highs and the lows. Not Batty's night, almost starting with an own goal and ending with a red card. Martin saved England several times. They dominated for much of it. Fowler came close on more than one occasion. England were cheated out of at least one penalty, and Polish fans thought they were hard enough, pelting rival followers with a range of missiles. The police were pretty useless, but the game went on. Batty probably wishes it hadn't. Goalless and soulless by England. Sadly for Scotland, Estonia turned up this time, and with Derby goalkeeper Mark Poom, Dodds couldn't crack him in either half. Poom was blooming, the Scots blooming frustrated. The Republic allowed Malta to draw level, but Steve Staunton's goal of the night clinched a 3-2 victory to take the Irish second in their group. So it's come to this. For qualification, England needs Sweden to beat the Poles in Stockholm next month and then to succeed in the playoffs. Scotland needs to win just one of their remaining qualifiers against Bosnia or Lithuania to have a fighting chance. Here's the way the weather looks. Temperatures should range from 17 Celsius in Glasgow to 23 in London. Western Scotland should be the only area to see uh, much rain today. Wales, central regions and the southwest will start out sunny, but the southeast will have a cloudy morning. And later on, that sunny weather will spread right across England and Wales. Here's the five-day forecast. And northern regions will be dry until Sunday and then rainy from then on. Central regions will have lots of sunshine until Saturday, but they'll turn showery from Sunday. And the south will also have a sunny Friday and Saturday. But afterwards, prepare for a stormy start to next week. Big Breakfast News 706. Here's Johnny Vaughan. Thank you very much, Phil. How are you this morning, Phil? Very well, thank you. Yeah, have a nice day yesterday? Yeah, it was all right, you know. Took it easy? Much. Just kind of kicked back. Just kicked back? Just kicked back. Kicked back those jelly legs. Phil Gow, ladies and gentlemen. Phil! Phil. Phil. Now, most uh, children love cute, fluffy, cuddly pets. They're children, they don't know any better. Uh, <laughs> but what happens when they develop a love for two things which are small, slimy, and altogether just a little bit too squidgy? Oh dear. What happens when they breed Ooh. Multiply in their hundreds and threaten to take over your home. Well, here's a story. Uh, it's Thomas Coleman and his mother Karen in the house to tell us that story. Yeah. Morning, Karen. Yeah. Morning, Thomas. Yeah. Morning, Liam. The lad at the end there. Now, Thomas, what exactly are your unusual pets? Giant African land snails. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Giant African land snails. Mm. OK, why do you pick those as a pet? Seems very unusual to us. They're an unusual pet and they're easy to keep. They're easy to keep. Yeah. What, because people might actually be, you know, uh, taking, on, taking on some snails this morning, what's involved in keeping them? Uh, clean them out every week, give them new soil, uh, and just feed them cucumber and lettuce and vegetables every day. They like it, but cucumber, That's you think, is their favourite? Yeah. That's easy. OK. Do they, do they greet you? Are they, are they loving pets? Mm, yeah. Are they? You think yeah. they recognise you? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> how, many, how many did you originally buy, Thomas? That's a good Two. question. Just, Just two? two. Yeah. And how many of those two turn into? 200. Whoa! 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 200 snails. Whoa! Karen, how did that happen? Uh, did, you, did you come down one morning, find a snail colony? How, how did the... Um, <laughs> not exactly. Um, we've had them about a what year. What exactly? No, we've had them about a year. Um, and then Thomas came home from school one day and there was about 200 eggs. Two, in, two, yeah. two Tiny hundred little eggs. white Spawn. eggs. Just tiny little Spawn. white eggs. Yeah. Okay. Do, do, you, do you think the snails make very good pets, Thomas? Yes. 
Yeah. What do you think our, our viewers would get out of snail ownership? What's good about them? Uh, not many people have got them. They're quite an unusual pet to have. Cool. Mm, okay. Yeah. So Karen and Thomas now have nearly 200 of these pets. I'm going to talk to Sean here. Sean Nolan. Please bring your camera in. I need to talk to you. <laughs> Karen and Thomas has nearly got 200 of these beautiful creatures. And all they love each... They, they love them from the bottom of their heart. They just can't cope with such a large group of African land snails. That's why today we're launching our very own special appeal, Snails in Need, to give these pets a loving home. Snails in Need. <laughs> How can you help? That's what they're probably asking, isn't it? How can you help on Snails in Need? Well, if you think you can provide a safe, warm and loving home for one of these adorable creatures, call us now on 01719851. Or fax us on 01719851. Or you can email us at bigbreakfast at channel4.com. Uh, but you hurry now, please. Uh, Cockney Vic is waiting in the phone room to take your calls of mercy. Uh, our courier is standing by, ready to deliver them direct to your door. We will deliver the snails to your door this morning if you can offer up a home for them. Of course, if we don't find a home for our small friends with the shells, there is only one alternative. Oh. One alternative. Oh. Just oh. That's right. Uh, our French chef from the Café Rouge, Jean, will cook the snails and serve them to the crew. So the more homes we can find for the snails, they will quite literally die. Tasty. So please, get calling. It's quite important to get calling, though, isn't it? Of course it is. Otherwise, because Jean, let me tell you, the... Jean, is the, is, the, is the oil at the correct temperature now for cooking? <laughs> it is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it is. Perfect. Sounds it's absolutely perfect. perfect. Yeah. Just a, yeah. I'm sorry, it Thomas. Smells. Sorry. Uh, in the meantime, I've recently discovered a fantastic new channel uh, to keep me up to date with, with everything that's happening in the world. Have go you? on, you press the button. You do oh, the, I'd love to. Here we go. There we go. We've got the shash. Oh. Beautiful resin raster nuns will add an air of elegance to any elderly aunt's fireplace. <laughs> They look like a lot of fun. I'm having fun too with this new game for the Nintendo 64. It's called WWF Attitude and it hit the streets this week. Go on, Foxy! This game stars over 40 of your favourite WWF superstars, including Stone Cold Steve Austin. The Undertaker and, <laughs> of course, Degeneration X. Where do those guys get all their energy from? Here's a drink that can refresh both body and mind. It's a new cranberry vitamin and herb drink called Silver Arrow, and it's out this week. Oh, that's good stuff. Thanks, Linton. I might try some of that myself tonight as I settle down to a new slice of comedy on BBC One. Let them eat cake. Do you have any idea what I have been through today? I made the most exquisite ship wig ever seen, bristling with crow's nests and poop decks. Given the right crew, it could have rammed Portsmouth. And was that good enough? Make it bigger, she says. Big, monsieur, big. So don't talk to me about injured pride, you fat queen, because mine has been irreparably crushed. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious stuff. <laughs> That's the first of a new six-part historical comedy set at the court of Louis XVI in 1792, which leads nicely onto our next item, Linton. That's right, Foxy. Linton and the Doctor there, unbeatably good television. Uh, do you know what? Uh, what? Go on. I'm going to recap on what went on in this house yesterday. What happened? Oh. I can remember. We had Carry On Campaigning, John. That's what happened. Good slam, that's And it. we had the Girl Guides Against Gum Dropping uh, pitting their no. wits against the Michael Crawford <laughs> Phantom Movie Campaign, yes. which requires Michael Crawford to star in film of Same Said. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you phoned and faxed us with your votes, and if you missed it, this is exactly what happened. Yes! Can you give us a reminder of your cause? Cast your vote for Michael Crawford to be the Phantom of the Opera in the film version of the stage play. Whoa. OK, we've got the swingometer, which shows the percentage of votes, ca votes cast either side. It's now time to reveal that swingometer. 
Omicha. The result is 54% for Michael Crawford as the Phantom. So bravo, that's a million dollar winner. Scoring 54% of the votes. The Michael Crawford Phantom Movie Campa Campaign. Uh, Spearheading that campaign is Lillian Barbuti, who's with us again this morning. Hi, Lillian. Hello. Barbuti. Do you know what? If this progresses, we could have another 200 here this morning. Look yeah. at this. <laughs> that progresses, I'll tell He's you going, I say. <laughs> <laughs> She's saying, ding dong. Yeah. Say a bit more than that. Quite yes, a, is, actually. It's quite a suction going on. There is quite a suction going on. Uh, now, if you're watching yesterday's, uh, watching yesterday's show, would you believe this? It was none other than Michael Crawford. No way. Yeah. Oh. Uh, he's called his agent. He says, uh, I, please, how can I get through straight get away? Get me the house now. He says, get me Vaughny. <laughs> uh, Oiled anyway, up. I believe, I believe Michael Crawford. <laughs> I believe he's on the line now. No way. Morning, Michael. How are you this morning? Hi, Johnny. All right. How are you? <laughs> Uh, very nice to have you uh, on the show this morning. Uh, Thank only, you. only by sound, but that's enough for us. <laughs> okay, now Michael, I gather you tried to get through through to us on the phone yesterday. Is that correct? I did. After I put in my 500 votes. Oh, no. uh, <laughs> no, no, I did try to get through because I couldn't believe what I was hearing, and it was really, it was. Uh, I came out the shower, and I thought, not something you want to hear about. And I heard, uh, I heard, I thought I heard my name mentioned along with Girl Guides, and I thought... <laughs> you thought, oh no, the scandal's broken. That's right. <laughs> my case comes up next week. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, anyway, but I'm very flattered by it all. So I, w I just wanted to sort of say uh, uh, thank you to everyone, and um, I thought it was a very, very fair and... Uh, um, <laughs> So you do make people passionate, don't you? Why do you think that is? Hello? Hello? You, uh, you evoke a passion within folk. Why? Oh, um, <laughs> I, I've no idea. I've, I've no idea. I mean, oh, I just... Come on. Come, come on. on. Come on. You, know. you know, Croft. You'll have to invite me along to the house. Oh! oh. Phantom of, the the try it <laughs> Phantom of the breakfast. Uh, listen, I think, do you know what, uh, Michael, I think it's Lillian you should thank. It's her campaign. Here she is. Lillian, is there anything you'd like to say to Michael Crawford? This is the head of your campaign, Michael. I just thank, well, it's in his campaign. I don't think he really knew that this was going on. Um, just uh, to us, he's the quintessential Phantom, and we'll go on campaigning for him. Okay, there we go. There we go. Uh, Michael, can I just say thank you very much for calling in. Best of luck with everything in the future, and we will have you down in the house. We will have you here, sir. Thank you very much. We will have you here, sir. All right, goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Bye, Michael. Enjoy the show. Thank I you forgot to say how much he loves the show, but yeah, I know he Yeah, but he show. does, doesn't he? He does love the show. He obviously mm. tunes into it, doesn't he? Uh, anyway, do you know what? Sarah Coxie's around this week. Coxie! Oh, yeah. We're big fans of Coxie. Coxie is going to lift the lid on her brand new feature. How are you, Coxie? I'm all... Oh, watch your head. <laughs> I'm all right. I'm right at home here in my van. You got your caravan? In my van. Yeah, is it nice in there? Is it, is it it's, healthy? Um, it's a bit musty. Is it's it a bit good, musty? Though. Oh, watch your head. It's good, though. It's quite, it's quite you know, it's, it's compact. OK, well, listen, mind your head, Coxie. All right, what mind my head. OK, see you later, Coxie. Oh, see you later. Coxie, ladies Bye and gentlemen. Then. Uh, can I just say, she's coming live, uh, absolutely live, those images, from there. The garden. That's where Coxie is, right there. Um, there we go, that's Coxie. Thank you very much, Coxie. Coxie, absolutely live at the bottom of the garden. Uh, do you know what? This is Channel 4. You're watching The Big Breakfast. Coxie's here. Lisa's here. I'm here. Grant's here. Snail's oh, here. Uh, the snail's Family's here. Family's here. But most Bruce important, but, but lest we forget, snail's in need. Yes. Oh, yes. Here, here. Chocolate flavoured BN puts a smile on your face.